Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me. Did you miss me? <laughs> so, today we're going to be talking about a tip that has to do with layers. And this tip used to be an express tool, but it grew up and became a real live AutoCAD command a few releases ago back in 2007. So that's good news for you LT users, right? Because that means that you can use it as well. So this is the copy to layer tool. And what does it do? Well, it's kind of self-explanatory, but it allows you to make a copy of an object to another layer. So what, how do we normally do that, right? We probably use the copy command, take the objects, make that copy, and then you use a two-step process. We take those objects and put them on the proper layer. Well, let's kill two birds with one stone, shall we? Let's just use one command to get that job done. So I'm going to grab the copy to layer command from the ribbon. It's on the home tab of the ribbon. If those of you who are not using the ribbon, you can find it in the pull down menus or you can just type in copy to layer, all one word, okay? It's completely up to you. Here we are in the home tab, right? I'm gonna go to the layers panel. It's actually hiding in this drop down list. So we need to go grab this drop down. And here it is right there, copy objects to new layer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and execute that command. Now my goal right now is I'm gonna be working on the second floor. So I actually would like to use the external walls that I have on my, my first floor drawing right there to work on the second floor, just an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these external walls and then I'm gonna hit an enter and you'll see it asks me to select an object on the destination layer. I actually don't have any objects on my screen on, on the layer I wanna put the walls on yet or name. Let me hit enter and you'll see it puts me in a dialog box with a listing of all of my current layers. This is easy. I'm going to actually put it on the walls second floor layer and I'll say an OK. And then it asks me where I want it to go. I can just leave it where it's at, which is right on top of the existing objects, but I actually want to move it over here. So I'm just going to pull this right out over there. And if you take a look at the screen, it made a copy, made a copy on a different layer and allowed me to move it too at the same time. And you can tell it's on a different layer, right? Because that layer happens to be blue. The other objects were black. So definitely it worked out. It was great. That's one way of doing it. What happens if you forget to make the layer first? Check this out. And this isn't really obvious, but um, a really, really nice tool. Let's go back into the copy to layer command. I'm going to go ahead and grab this deck. I'm going to pretend I'm going to make a copy of the deck on the second floor, which of course we wouldn't do. And um, I'm going to, now you'll see down here, it says the name option again. I'm going to hit an enter. Oh, I forgot to make my layer first, right? Now it's not obvious, but I can actually type in any layer name that I want to and it will make the layer for me. So let's say I wish that would go on the deck um, second floor layer. I'll just, you know, arbitrarily say that. I'll say, okay, it's gonna come back and say, hey, you don't have a deck second floor layer. Do you want me to create it? Absolutely, I do. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the deck and put it over here as well or wherever. So now, Look at it, it's black. Hmm. So it made a new layer called deck second floor. Well, what properties did it use for the layers? It actually used the same properties as the current layer, which in my case, is, it happened to be zero. So you probably wanna to, want to go into the layer dialog box and, and assign the proper properties for that new layer that you created. You know, it's clearly up to you. All right, a couple more options. A couple other things I wanna show you. Uh, let's go back into copy to layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and select this text. Like I'm just kind of arbitrarily picking things in the drawing. And you might be in a situation where you already have objects in the drawing on the right layer, right? So I want to put that text right there on the same layer as my external wall. So I can just select an object too. That's even easier if that's the case on your screen. So it, it told me, oh, you want to place that text on the wall second floor layer, all right? And at this point, I actually just wanna put text on a copy of the text right on top of the existing one, which sometimes you want to do for viewports, right? So rather than pick a base point and a displacement, I'm just going to hit an enter. So what happened? It made a copy on top of itself on the, on the wall second floor layer. How do I know? Well, check this out. If I, if I go to move this guy, you'll see there's definitely two objects, right? So one of them is, was, is on the original layer that it was made on and this other one happens to be on the wall second floor layer. So hopefully, I think I pretty much explained most of that command. So in AutoCAD 2008, we had the added ability to have layer properties per viewport, right? Changed our lives a lot. But before 2008, this command was essential to our existence because we could make a copy of objects 
turn the layers on and off for the different viewports and modify the objects. So definitely keep this command in, line, in mind for that, but it's of course still really valuable regardless of the release of AutoCAD that you have. All right, copy to layer. Don't forget that command. Thank you for joining me and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks.